The governor said that he is pleased with the overall picture he's seeing, but says there has been some unexpected problems the state has seen as a result of COVID-19. Governor said domestic abuse cases are up and fewer people are reporting child abuse cases. And when it comes to traffic crashes, the Department of Public Safety reports there have been more fatal crashes this year compared to last year, even with so many people staying home. They believe it's because the open roads have led to an increase in drivers traveling well over interstate speed limits. When it comes to fighting the coronavirus, the governor said he believes the state is on track with its recovery plan. He said hospitals are not overwhelmed and the state continues to acquire more personal protective equipment. The legislative session ends Friday. The governor was asked if he has any priorities for lawmakers in these closing days. The governor's office, uh, our priority right now is close to 400,000 people on unemployment, trying to get the economy to go on back, trying to make sure we get people back to work, how those jobs are, how are we going to be able to help with training when that day comes, how do we end up with the COVID-19, how do we finish fighting this virus. So all of those things are a priority right now, and they, they just continue to be our priority in this office. The governor also highlighted the fact Missouri reported 74 new cases of the coronavirus on Monday. He said that was the lowest single day total since mid-March. But keep in mind, the governor has also cautioned others from taking numbers from any one single day to paint an overall picture of how things look. He also continues to stress the importance of social distancing. Reporting from our Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Jeff Bernthal.